Welcome back to some Crusader Kings free as Norway. We're invading into Sweden. We are going to send some Swedish warriors to Valhalla and hopefully in the attempt crown ourselves the kings of Norway. That would be enough land to uh, officially call ourselves the uh, kings of Norway, not the kings of Viking. It'll be great. We have our second wife here. She's a giant. And once more, she has not given us any uh, giant children. Only one daughter who is not a giant. She's also uh, bisexual, so is less likely uh, to sleep with me, more likely to cheat on me. But, uh, oh well. We only need a giant son. <laughs> we got uh, Nicholas here. He's been raised his whole life. Ah, you are the future heir. And if I get a giant son, uh, the second I do so, he's being disinherited. It's, it's great. He's now betrothed off to a giant. So all, my, all four children are betrothed off to giants. So hopefully in the next generation we'll be able to get some giant genes through. What do you guys here? Call him my ally, Yarl Sipop. We'll, we'll call him in. It's definitely worth a go. I'm also going to increase the amount of heavy troops I got here. I think that will help us out a lot. I could even potentially uh, raise them up. No, I have to do this way. Okay, so we're going to go in. We're going to start sieging in the tribe of uh, what's his face. My friend Elofian is going to bring over his 444 troops. He'll be a great help. But we want to uh, we want to avoid the Swedes at all costs. The Swedes are dangerous. Rikessa, my my daughter Rikessa has come of age. She is my most intelligent child, I think. She has not got the best traits. Uh, she does over the over the board equally, but she doesn't specialize like her other daughter Asta. Rikessa is going to marry a twenty-year-old man. He is a giant and will hopefully be a colossus upon the battlefield. Rikessa will become a great eminence. Good for her. And Duryab has joined us. We'll ask for a conversion. He will oblige. He's a Mashera. It's a uh, Volga Finnic group. Can we call him up? Of course we can. I think it's just him, so he's going to have to march over and join us here. Good man. I do want my armies merged, yes. Got to keep my eye open for these Swedes, though. There are a fair few of them around. Spouse Investments in Westwald. My lord, it has come to my attention that there is a rare opportunity to invest in the chieftain of Westwald. My wife, Gunnhilda, draws up the details for the business investment, and it does indeed look as if the deal could benefit Westwald greatly if successful. It is a wor uh, risk worth taking if the opportunity for the people of Westwald. Or let's talk about local affairs. Uh, this talk about local affairs beneath me. No, 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 no. It's a risk worth taking, sure. Business entrepreneur, um, entre endeavors. Uh, I was gonna, I was trying to say entrepreneurs, but my my eyes were telling me it wasn't entrepreneurs. So endeavors, <laughs> it is. I do have a lot of money. We could keep increasing our places here, or we could build up on Oslo. I'm not sure. Oslo is the uh, duchy capital here, so uh, yeah, we're gonna have to build a lot of things here. Palisades. Um, fort level, levies, garrison, but I think money. Oh, the war camps, an extra knights. If we did have also get an extra knight, of course. Gathering halls. Prestige. We do like prestige, and of course, markets for money. I don't know, what, what have we got here? We've got warrior lodges for a load of knights and simple palisade. We're going to do warrior lodge then. Or war camp. Yeah, we'll do that. Five years will take, but we do have the time. Excellent. This siege here is also about done, so we'll go ahead and help out our Scottish friends down here. Undisciplined recruits again! Who is it? Chieftain Hulga of Fridiyuki. Today I'm observing Chieftain Hulga as he trains some of his new levies, but the recruits under his command resemble a disorganized mob. Well, we can't blame your sigil. What do we got? Uh, well, teach him about command. Yeah, let's do it. Excellent. I am disappointed in him, though. He, he rejected our advice. He is a dick. <laughs> so, we'll just leave him with his unruly people. Let's go with uh, hard rule here. Hard rule might be good. We are, of course, the great, great grandfather of hard ruler. Uh, I'm not sure if we're great, great or great. Uh, we're definitely an uh, ancestor of hard ruler. Good for us. Let's get this siege here done. 15 months. My goodness. Over a year. And the Swedes are actually over this way. And 12 months away. Ay, ay, ay. Inspired moderation. Following the death of a sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my son, uh, Niklas, what he thought. He claims he learned a lesson about not reaching for more than he can handle. Oh, no, we don't want that. Let's make him just instead. We do, however, have to move our army off. We can't stay here. We have to go and fight some Swedes. 
It'll take us 49 days to get there, so we will get there before the siege is over. They have reinforced, so they will have a similar number to us. But I think we're still able to smash them. These guys leave in one day. We arrive in five days. They arrive in two days. So we're actually going to outnumber a lot of his forces before the battle begins. I could get another champion as well. I don't know how. But we could get another man on the battlefield. He might be the difference here. No, there's, there's no other champions to have. Ha. Anybody in prison we could throw onto the battlefield? There's nobody in prison we can just throw onto the battlefield. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We only have one person here in uh, his Asa. We could quickly try and get her to marry someone and throw him into the front lines. It'll, how much? It would only be three gold. Okay, let's do it. So we've got Asa here. We're going to go for a matrilineal marriage with anyone who's not a giant. Matrilineal marriage, we're going to sort by prowess. Hulfan Skal, 22. What a great man. Let's get him over. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. The battle has begun. And the rest of the army is actually leaving, so this isn't going to be an issue at all. Excellent. The extra man has joined us. He is now a champion. And unraised. So we're going to go ahead and raise him up. This, this battle here is already won. So we're going to raise them here. I think. Where is the... Uh where is the uh, flag? I don't... Oh, it's there. Let's just raise him over here so I can actually get him straight to work. There he is. Our new recruit has arrived. Excellent. But yes, that uh, was a slaughter. 741 Swedes were killed while only 30 of our men went to Valhalla. My champions, of course, did most of the work here. 146 between them. Perfect. We did lose one armoured footman, though. Jeremy Sardi had a guy called Budo. He had his head ripped off by Chieftain Halder. The head ripping in this campaign is immaculate. 42 prowess, this madman. They had a guy, Miltsas. He managed to escape. A Prussian uh, mercenary. Let's go down the coast and let's uh, meet up with their army again and give them a good hiding once more. Excellent. Um, this man will arrive in a day. Very good, very good. The King of Sweden is actually here. Hopefully we can uh, capture him. Hopefully. His army, of course, obliterated. Only three men survived and he was one of them. Him and his King's Guard. My champions killed again 288 personally. We killed at 1,353. We only lost 129. An absolute slaughter. The Swedes do not stand a chance. Kulbjorn here was killed. He is the... Oh, was he the heir? No, he was not the heir. He's the second son, the spare. Grigor has died. Oh, no. He had his head ripped off. What is it with all this head ripping, ripping off? Ah, Grigor has finally met his end. Hemming here, we're going to make you the uh, court physician. We can actually find your wife. Any giants out there? I doubt it. There's never giants. There's never giant women. Never. I'll uh, stop by Prowess. Get him a decent Sophia. She's relatively young and good. Get her over to uh, breed with him. Alright. Well, let's go up this way and help out our Scottish brethren with the siege there. Excellent. I didn't accidentally do... Uh... No, I didn't accidentally do matrilineal. Spymaster! We must have lost someone. Chieftain Nahalda will assign you the position. Uh, everybody always scared to uh, come out against me now, won't they? No, we have lost another champion. Also, I've got to make sure I don't actually send my son to his death later on. We don't want that. Now, do we? He's doing quite well with his diplomacy, but more good with his stewardship. I could switch over his education. Let's do it. It's clearly where he, uh, he wants to specialise. Okay, good. We are going to continue the siege here and hopefully have this one before anything happens around my capital again. Eleven months. Prestige is tanks. An extra hand in the course of helping me administer my realm as my right-hand woman, Humfrid and I have discovered we have a lot in common. We both marry giants. Uh, we have built up a strong rapport during our time working together. 
As a result of this, I find myself wondering what the future might hold for us. Ah, good friends, something more. Keep this relationship professional. I would like the prestige. Prestige is a uh, currency for us, so we should try and keep it. We'll win this siege here, and then we'll go and destroy these Swedes once more. Good. 50% war score. Let's go beat up a few more Swedes. I get a new Chancellor as well. Alright. Yeah, down to 11 champions once more. Nobody we can uh, get there. Asa can remarry. Uh, didn't we just get you over, Asa? Alright, matrilineal, let's get you... Uh, oh no, it's the man she had come over who died. Well, Imund, he's pretty good. Is anybody much younger? 37? Oh, f he's uh, 30 and good looking. We'll get him over here. Although, no, she's a bit too old, so we won't uh, actually worry about that. Let's just get whoever's best. If I can press on the right area. Bertil, please come over, buddy. We need you on the battlefield. War declared? What? Steyr. He has a few friends. He has... Where did the Swedes go? What? Swedes? So, we have a uh, new enemy here. He does have uh, a fair few troops. A fair few... Visby is helping him out, but it, it, is he just discount here? He is discount. Okay, so we're going to go and uh, siege out his capital. Should be too hard. Should be too hard. Oh, seven months. Okay, it is a little bit hard. Hopefully this, though, will be enough for a white piece. Or even uh, forcing through the uh, plan there. Then we'll march up north and deal the uh, armies up that way. Unlock a new perk again. Mercenary high cost minus, minus 30%. That could be good. We do have a bit of money. Good, 100%. Well, let's just enforce the demands then. Do we have anyone prison? Not anyone of worth. Oh, his wife. I'll take that 25 gold. Oh, uh, my uncle has died. That's uh, not the best. But anyway, we have one here, so we'll enforce the demands. Take a fair bit of money. Let's go up and show these uh, forces of evil what is what. They have brought in a friend, King Rurik. He has 2,000 men. We have our men. So hopefully we'll be able to deal with their forces. They are going to win back that siege though. How have they got it so fast? How did they do this? Right, that actually looks like a bad time. Let's stay right here. We don't have a guy in charge. Uh, Chief and Bertil. We'll have you. Chieftain Bertil. We could, of course, hire up some guys. We do have the power to do so. Let's see what we can do. We can get you to move to where we are. Let's have a look at mercenaries. What we got? Uh, Vilsa, Order of the Free Company, Band of the Fallen Knez, and the Tinglif. We don't need that many more men. They have two champions. 300 old horsemen. Let's get these guys. Look, they just so happen to arrive right where we are. Perfect. Let's go in and smash them. We won't hold back. Go on, boys. Invite all your friends down. Let's have a bit of a tumble down here, shall we? The King of Sweden is involved. Hopefully we'll uh, see him captured. And Nicholas, my son, has come of age. We will be forbidding him from the front lines. I do not need my son to die on the battlefield. He is betrothed to the uh, Ivory girl. She is a giant. We'll go through with that marriage. Accepted. Perfect. Let's. Uh, what are we going to do? Negotiate an alliance with Chieftain Pyro. Oh, it's one of my vassals. Oh, hey, my sister, I believe, yes. Let's go with. Uh, what are we going to do here? There was something I wanted to do. Oh, my son, of course. My son and heir forbid him from the front line. He must have a uh, child. Excellent. My half-sister here will uh, be my ally. A grand slaughter. An absolute grand slaughter. Only 876 died, actually. We've done a lot better on that uh, without help of mercenaries. Chief and Howler, 103. Also, we captured this guy. He is a Munso. 
Is he the heir? He is not the heir. He is the brother. Okay, well, let's uh, let's negotiate a release. I would... Oh, I can't uh, straight up take him away. Oh, he's got a title, I see. I can't ransom him either because he's in debt. That's a shame. I would have taken him. A couple of their guys did get killed. As for army, let's see if we can catch up with this chap. Looks like we can. And we'll, of course, siege out the uh, land below and get the war score back. Probably won't uh, be as fast as when they took it, but we'll give it a go. Two few champions again. Also, absolute slaughter. Didn't capture anyone, no. Um, a secret exposed. A shameful truth has reached light today. My daughter Asta has had an extramarital affair with my champion Gear. He's not a giant. Why would you do this, my daughter? How could she do that? So we could arrest her. Or we can say these ac accusations are false. Yeah, I, for my daughter, I will. My sinful acts come across, but it is for my daughter. And. Uh, if only it could have stayed a secret. Now everyone knows. That's a shame. My daughter is now a known adulterer. That's not what we wanted. We tried to cover for her, and now I've just lost my devotion myself. Nearly exalted among men. Nearly. We'll win here before they win there, and we'll go and uh, beat them back. Chieftain Bertil, you may have a job on our government. And my wife is pregnant. Hopefully it is a son, and we can send the other one to the front line, as originally planned. Prematurely, ah, uh, she is no longer pregnant. That's a shame. These uh, Swedes, though, let's uh, give them a good old slaughter as usual. 87%, we're getting there. We are definitely getting there. This guy captured by me, yes, but he's a lord. Doesn't look like any lowborns are captured. He can afford his ransom, though, so we'll go ahead and take that. Where are all my champions going? Could you guys please stop? Dying on the battlefield, I, I need you. In the court, Sophia is unmarried. Okay, let's get you a match with your match with the most prowess man we can get. JLo, aren't you a musician? Let's let's get him over. He can uh, fight for us. He is finished, but we'll get him to convert. Ah, uh, okay. He's quite a negative guy. As for our army here, what could we do? We can go and fight these guys. Anybody else around here we can kill? Well, so let's have a look at our prisoners exactly. What do we got? A lord and two young girls. Negotiate release for a weak hook. Is that the best I can do? Yes, their liege is this guy. Oh, all the way over there. I don't know why I have him prisoner. Uh, or his uh, sister's prisoner. That seems uh, quite out there. Let's start a siege here. That might be enough to get us 100%, but I think we'll just get it organically. I I believe so. Greetings, Jarl Harald of Viking. Your sister, Chieftess Pyra, has insulted me gravely. She has the audacity to name me an abhorrent knave in front of my court. I demand satis satisfaction for this slight. Who is he? Ah, oh, some sap me guy. Uh, ha, good one. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, screw you, gay. You're a future enemy. Why Why am I going to disown my sister over you, you fool? Uh, we've definitely got this. They won't win anything on time. We'll get it organically. I might even just go through the siege for the hell of it, just to rub it in their faces. Perfect. We didn't capture anyone, but 15 gold is 15 gold. Enforce demands. Perfect. Two new provinces for the kingdom of the Vikings. Let's uh, let's crown ourselves, shall we? As kings of Norway, you are now a mighty king, Nor Nor Norger, Norger. Yes, that's probably Norway and Norwegian. We are King Harold of Fair Hair of Norger. We are forty-six years old. We have a son and heir, Haraldson, Nicholas Haraldson. Although it is a bit uh, scary pants of me not to have him on the front lines. Hopefully he's a big boy. He does look pretty big. I'm sure he towers over me, just like my wife does. Decision type available. We can go through with a special succession type. You may pick a form of traditional elective succession based on your culture. It will be applied to any of your top rank titles using partition succession. We're going to keep partition for now. 
but we will keep that in mind. I've not done a single feast or hunt this entire campaign so far, but we have rushed off to become the King of Norway. Lots of extra levies will be gained, although these lands here I'm going to have to give away. Let's go to our champion, see what we got. Hooker, Jalo, Jalo's new... No, we don't want to give it to a Finishman. I could give it to my son. Make him a lord of this here region. Let's do it. Niklaus, I grant you two provinces. Not one, but two. Grant. Can I also make him a duke in this area? Duchy of Upland. I can create a Duchy of Upland. That would make him the lord over both uh, Stotter and my sister. Ah, I'm not such a fan of that. I will have a grant you the Duchy. Where was it? Upland, of course. Uh, I can't not give him my sister. Okay, well. That's a shame, but he will be a powerful, powerful vassal underneath us here. Negotiate alliance, we'll, uh, we'll go with it. He'll be a great man under our command. Marvelous news. I have, however, given up control of him. He might remarry later on to somebody who's not a giant. I hope not. My glory, however, is widely known. We are exalted among men. Let's go over Stuart. Let's take uh, who is best. That'll be this tier, Chieftain. We might be able to go for quite a uh, war. Invasion of a kingdom, perhaps. Oh, we could. We could invade an entire kingdom. But we won't decide where until later. I'll see you guys there. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this campaign as much as me. If you are, remember, subscribe. It's great. You keep up to date on all the content of the channel. And uh, that's not really something to complain about. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. This next episode will be the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.